Hi, my name is Baruch. I'm from JFrog. Uh, just delivered the session in the other room, so it was a longer introduction there. Uh, but here it will be very short because it's a lightning talk. Uh, what we are going to, to talk about is uh, the ability to trace your plugin builds uh, from uh, your uh, build server, which apparently is Jenkins, I guess. Uh, to the new repository of uh, Jenkins CI, uh, which is Artifactory, and JFrog is the home of Artifactory, that's the reason I'm here. Um, this is a recursion slide, so pay attention. This is the, my best slides. Uh, we, as an example, build our Jenkins Artifactory plugin with Jenkins Artifactory plugin which was built by our Jenkins Artifactory plugin. Uh, you got the story. Well, yeah. Um, what that plugin does, it's kicking in the end of the build. It uploads the artifacts to your Jenkins CI binary repo. Um, do, if you're using Maven, uh, you don't use Maven deploy the plugin is doing it b instead. If you're using Gradle, you won't upload artifacts with Gradle. The plugin does it instead. And uh, everything is uploaded in one go in the end of the build, uh, except of the artifacts being uploaded. There is another object that goes with it, and this is the build info JSON object. Uh, next, we'll just see it in action. Uh, we actually won't build the plugin now because it will take us much longer than 15 minutes, but we will, sh we will see just uh, another build. So here's Jenkins, and uh, this is the job of our Artifactory Jenkins plugin, which is built, we al uh, already did it. Uh, and we can see here uh, inside the last build, let's go to one of the builds, and go to the console output to see the upload actually happening. Here we go. The deploying artifact, it's too small, right? Definitely too small. Uh, yeah, now it's better, but okay. Yeah, here. You can see the deploying artifacts. Here we deploy some Java docs and we deploy our plugin, the HPI, and we deploy the POM, the sources, and the jar itself, except of deploying all those artifacts, we also deploy another object, with, which is the build info. We deploy it all to repo at jenkinsci.org, and once it's there, we can go and navigate directly to uh, our repository by using the attached link. So here we are. Uh, at the build inside your repo jenkinsci.org. We can see the information about the build. We can see when it was built, what was built, when it started, what was the agent, etc., etc. And we have the link to get back to the same page we started. This information is, uh, was uploaded inside this build info object, and it also contains uh, other information. For example, all the details about the published modules. So here we can see uh, that we published one module. It has five artifacts. We already saw them earlier. It's the JAR, the HPI, the sources, the Java docs, etc. And it uses a little bit of dependencies. Yeah. Let's drill down and see the exact artifacts and the dependencies. It takes time because of the amount of dependencies and maybe because of the internet connection. Yeah, okay. So here are our five artifacts with the, uh, those types and here are the 21 pages of the dependencies list. Uh, from here we can see the artifacts stored in the repository. So let's look at the HPI. We can see it in three. Yeah, probably is the internet connection. And uh, we can navigate to the regular view uh, of Artifactory. Yeah, definitely the internet connection. Okay. Wow, this is strange. Ah, it's still loading. Okay, here we go. This is the tree, and we can see here all the artifacts, download from it, give a link to it, 
to the people that should. So, and actually the Jenkins uh, UI, the plugin manager takes the information from here about the existing of the plugins and their version and all this stuff. So uh, you, can, uh, you can see and understand what's going on inside the plugin manager from here. Let's go back to the build. From the artifact itself, you can know uh, which build it was produced by. So here we know that this artifact was produced by Artifactory Jenkins plugin build number five. And we can go to the build view. We can go directly to the uh, CI server, to Jenkins. Let's go back to the build and see what else is there. So ex except of the published modules, we can see here the environment variables. Those are all the variables collected during the build in Jenkins. We can see the issues uh, if the uh, Jira integration is enabled. Uh, and we, we even can see the build info JSON directly, the build info JSON that was uploaded. Here it is. All the information is stored here. So what you need to do in order to take advantage of uh, this functionality? First of all, you need to run your build uh, um, on Jenkins instance in which the Artifactory plugin is enabled. So if you build your plugins on your local uh, Jenkins, just go to the plugins repository and select the plugin from that. Once you have your plugin uh, enabled, uh, next thing you need to uh, provide it with the correct URL of repo jenkinsci.org and run the build. It will collect all the information, upload it to this repository and you're done. Another option for you to develop plugins and contribute to the Jenkins community is using the build hive which is uh, Jenkins uh, on uh, cloud this cloud. Anybody has an account here? Yeah, okay. So uh, definitely that's the right way to go, right? You ask uh, uh, CloudBees for giving you an account here. Uh, this build is automatically configured to deploy uh, to repo C uh, jenkinsci.org and everything should work uh, together. Currently, the Artifactory plugin is not installed on the build hive, but we are working on it. Uh, just keep in mind that once it will be there, you will be able to get the traceability we talked about even when working from, a, from the cloud. So uh, just for a summary, you saw the integration and your plugin now is fully traceable. Uh, you can get much more information in your binary repository about the build that produced those artifacts in Jenkins. Thank you.